so near but yet so far that is probably what Alec Arthur is is saying to himself right now <laughs> Jaja rough rough very good um, innings from Arthur is batting almost the entire day scoring um, 92 yes he fell for 92 my viewers and subscribers very very good innings now the two teams played out to a draw so gonna spend some time go through the scorecard um you know let you know exactly how things went down today and you know we'll also take a look at the scorecard in its entirety as it relates to all five days so give a listening here and let me know what you all think in the comment section all right so as we go into this recap my people I just want to say to Ali Carter, you know, just continue to fight, continue to push, continue to work hard. You know, it would have been a very, very good century. It was a good innings, yes, but it would have been a very good century knowing that, you know, um, he was batting to um, save the game. You understand? If he fell or if he went early, you understand? Um, who to tell? We probably would have gotten bowled out, you know, but um, thankfully he was able to put together a good partnership with um casey carty and you know then he had one with um hodge also had a nice little partnership going with uh also had a good little partnership going there with uh jason holder so let's get straight into it now west indies bowlers they were unable to bowl out south africa obviously <laughs> you know um at the end of day four work and was saying that the aim is to go in and bowl them out quickly and see where they can go from there. Well, that did not my viewers and subscribers. Um, South Africa, they made 173 declared. Um, 173 for three declared. That gave us, I think, around about 297, um, 298 there about to, to, to win. Right? Um, we, we, we were on our way, my people. We were on our way. But, you know, we, we, we ran out of overs, basically. Um... There were still a couple of overs remaining in the day's play, probably about five or six or something like that. But the two captains, along with the umpire, you know, came to a decision that they're going to just call it. I mean, Jason Hola was standing firm. He was looking <laughs> as if he was not planning to get out, as if he didn't plan to get out. You understand? Um, so, yeah, we ended on 201 for five, going in search of that 298. You know, um, rain, rain did a lot in this test match. Rain really did a lot, my people. So, in this second innings here for us, 201 for 5. Well, let me finish with South Africa's second innings. So, 173 for 3. Um, Tony Dezazi, he made 45 from 60. Aiden Marker made 38 from 48. Um, Tristan Stubbs, he played some attacking shots uh, this morning. He got 68 from 50 with six fours and two sixes. Um, Temba Bavuma made 15 from 17. And then, you know, I think it was after Tristan Stubbs felt that he called them off the field. You understand? So, um, yeah, that, that's basically how it went there. In terms of the bowling for us in the second innings, Kimar wrote six overs, one for 39. Jamal Warika, nine overs, two for, um, for 57. Jaden Seals, seven overs, 44 runs. Jason Holder, five overs, 14 runs. Gurikish Moti, two overs, 13 runs. So, you know, want to say shout out to Jamal Warikan. A lot of people are saying that he shouldn't be in the squad. Well, he made some runs in the first innings. Um, also scored, also pick up, picked up some wickets, you understand? You know, what, at six wickets in the game, four in the first innings, two in the second innings, that's six. Plus, I think he was 31, not out that he made, you know, um, repaying the selectors' faith in him. And... A lot of people are saying that he shouldn't even be anywhere close to the squad. But if my memory serves me right, I think he picked up 35 or 34 wickets in the last regional championship. You know, so, um, you know, I guess he, he's, he's just backing up the, the, the selectors there with that call. Anyways, the West Indies went into bat needing that 298. Um, Captain Craig Brathwaite. <laughs> yeah, Captain Craig Brathwaite. Um, Faced three bars before he was removed without scoring. Um, you know, he was looking to go over the infield and was out caught by Tristan Stubbs. So he didn't score. Um, Mikel Louis, he didn't really get going. You know, he had nine from 25 with two fours to his name. 
the partnerships um started well the first partnership we had a uh, good partnership was casey carty and alec authors no casey carty made 31 from 54 four fours was looking good until he gave it away you understand um author is my viewers and subscribers i tell you he was a solid innings very good innings 96 from 116 bars nine fours 79.31 strike rate he was looking good didn't look as if he was um worried about anything he had time on his hand and he had wickets you know we had wickets in hand so you know um it was just for him to just stay focused and try and get across it you understand don't know if he got frustrated or anything or, or what you know i won't even blame the, the, the sweep shots and stuff like that because he was playing them pretty well throughout the day you know um but prior to him getting out he was sort of starve of the of, of the strike a little bit you understand um yeah man he was starve of the strike i think it was hola that was um you know face face hola that faced a couple of deliveries couple of probably about an over or so before you know um arthur is went back up there you know he was he was looking a little fidgety you understand playing some shots that didn't look too convincing until um you know he was out caught you understand uh maharaj setting him up and getting the better of him hodge he made 29 from 55 you understand um hodge had a little partnership going with artanis also but you know he he was removed now jason hola was left not out and tw um 31 from 76 one four and one six now very mature innings from hola you know in the past we would have seen we are you know we are in similar situation and 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 he comes you know and and just go at it and and get out and then expose the lower order so i want to say you know um a very good knock from him you understand this is these are the times when you need 31 from 76 you understand when you know that you are not going to win the game but you want to make sure that there is no um force there is no problem you, you don't have to leave it to the other bowlers coming in you understand these are the time when you want even 20 from 80 you understand you know that you're not going to go at it to win the game like that so you you, you make sure so you draw the game you don't allow the opponent to, to to really um you know get in you understand so 31 from 76 uh good not there from the former skip joshua the silver came in two from 10 um helped out a little bit also made sure that hola didn't face all of the deliveries there and you know as a result of that they were able to come together and say yes let us shake hands let us call it a draw so 201 for five is what we ended on um in terms of the bowling for south africa maharaji had four for 88 so spin doing it again 26.2 overs rabada one for 38 12 overs you understand if you didn't get a chance to see that rabada wicket um he got rid of uh michael louis you need to go and check it out it was a very good setup you understand um and on the ball five overs 25 runs aiden markham eight overs 26 runs uh Mulder five overs 18 runs so that is basically how it went my viewers and subscribers want to say um shout out to the players for um entertaining us shout out to the rain for making sure that <laughs> south africa didn't get this one but yeah that is pretty much how it went my peeps gonna leave it right here so far now just wanted to give you a quick recap of the scorecard you know later on or tomorrow we can take a look at um individual stuff we can take a look at uh you know a couple of other things just wanted to finish off with the scorecard oh the player of the match um was maharaj you know picking up four for 76 and four for 88 you understand so getting eight wickets in that game so yeah that is it my people gonna leave it right here so for now big up